say we are living in a very challenging yet very exciting times for the food and drink industry. I remember when I joined Mintel 10 years ago, consumer attitudes towards food and drink seemed to be more straightforward, easy to follow and understand by manufacturers. However, since then, so many things have happened. The COVID pandemic, the technological development around AI and the metaverse, climate change issues and the call for more sustainable actions, recent econ economic downturn and also many other things. And it seems that food and drink industry has a lot of things to consider, right? And especially how all those elements or all together or separately have impact on consumer attitudes, behaviors and, and uh, aspirations. And also, Considering that a lot of European consumers, as surveyed by Mintel, put a lot of thought into what they eat as a part of their well-being uh, uh, regimes, it's very important to talk about healthy, uh, healthy foods, uh, how it's evolving and what to expect in the coming years. So in this context, I would like to talk to you about two aspects of healthy foods. Better for you foods and natural foods. And let's start with better for you foods. Obviously, the pandemic has dramatically changed consumer attitudes towards their health and well-being. Um, consumers' health goals have become more complex. It's not only about their physical well-being and appearance, but it's also about their mental performance. And what they're expecting, they're expecting food and drink industry to help them to achieve those goals very seamlessly. And the range of functional claims that consumers are interested in is very broad from short-term impact such as hydration, immune boosting, energy boosting uh, properties to something long-term like uh, anti-aging or beauty boosting uh, properties. So for instance, let's have a look at immune boosting functional claims. We've observed that the number of products with such claims increased very dynamically during uh, pandemic and after the pandemic. And at Mintel, we've observed one interesting thing citrus flavor. Citrus flavor by no means it's not a new flavor on the, on the flavor scene. However, it has a very strong association in consumer minds with a healthy immune system. It can also provi provide more uh, fresh, fresher taste and less sweet flavor profile, which again resonates really well with health-minded consumers. So, lemons oranges, grapefruits, and many, many other citrus flavors and ingredients, they've been increasingly featured in products with, with immune-boosting functional claim. Another aspect of this complex health goals, as I mentioned a minute ago, is, is, is the mental performance. Consumers really paying attention to their men mental well-being. And this is an opportunity for the food and drink industry to tap into that and help consumers with their relaxation needs, help them with uh, boosting their brain performances or just general uh, cognitive capacity. And here, I would like to provide you an example how positioning, rather than any particular ingredient, can actually play a very important role here. So let's take, for example, tea. Tea as a category has a very long-standing association with the moments of relaxation and wellness and chocolate brands can actually push their boundaries and try and step into this realm of wellness and spirituality by positioning themselves as a part of this pleasurable, guilt-free self-care. Obviously, if they also include ingredients that have in consumer minds association with, with relaxation moments, then it's only a benefit. But talking very overall, during tough economic times, consumers are very careful with their spending. And what we are seeing is that they are increasingly looking for products with a very clear health messages, whether it's around ingredients, claims, or positioning. So another aspect of this uh, talk about uh, healthy foods is uh, where I would like to focus today is natural foods. So again, as surveyed by Mintel, Natural formulations are very important for consumers. They have this association with healthfulness, with uh, better tasting, a better quality products. And again, we've seen more all natural products coming to the market. However, in order to stand out from this very, very fierce competition, 
brands need to kind of develop or expand their healthy positioning through, let's say, organic certifications or employing more sustainable practices. However, organic certifications may command higher prices, which may be quite challenging during tough economic times. So brands really need to work very closely with consumers and explain them the clear benefits of such products, make them more easily accessible on the retail shelf, but also provide with strategies how to buy such products on a budget. On the other hand, organic certifications can actually help to convey much stronger sustainability message by giving consumers a very clear link between no usage of synthetic pesticides throughout the whole cycle of production uh, process, healthier soil, and therefore healthier, better tasting, better quality product. Natural formulation is also very important when we talk about uh, plant-based regimes. And we see more consumers turning towards plant-based eating regimes part-time or full-time for many reasons. Health, sustainability, concerns around animal welfare. However, what we are seeing is that some meat alternative producers are moving away from uh, clean label. They are creating longer ingredient lists, using more processed ingredients. So actually, the simpler pack design, the simpler messages, or very clear call-outs on pack, stating uh, the, the source of the ingredients, seasonality, locality, and many other aspects, can actually resonate better with consumers, can attract them to this category, and, and help build trust. So to conclude my talk today, I would like to point out to one very important commonality when we're talking about healthy foods, whether it's better for you foods or uh, natural foods. It's transparency and clarity in communication with consumers. So manufacturers, in order to maintain their trust or build trust, they can use scientific research, they can use third party certifications, or, as I've been mentioning today, they can just use more simple on pack communication. And I think it is, and it will remain a very important aspect, considering that technological advancement will only create new ways how to pair the manufacturers with the right customers. But also consumers will continue to increasingly rely on virtual solutions to educate them, to inspire, and to affirm their purchases. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.